How's it going YouTube? Liam from Leeds Australia here and welcome back to Let's Play Potion Permit. Now, it has been a bit since I last recorded an episode of Potion Permit and as you can see I don't have anyone at uh, the uh, clinic at the moment so don't need to uh, heal anyone up at the moment but my main goal right now and as you're going to obviously see by my quest uh, indicator I still need to figure out which character or at least trying to figure out how to befriend or increase the level of friendship with most of the villagers across uh, across town because I know that I've maxed ranked uh, one of them I've forgotten her name already but uh, I think what I might also do is uh, take the moment to sort of check back over out into the forest grab a decent amount of supplies and even see if the path has cleared up after completing uh, one of the quests at least whether that it does or not, I'm not sure, but I'm going to take the moment to at least spend this particular day exploring around the area and probably also try and grab some, uh, let's see. Grab a decent amount of wood and stone actually, because I know that they're definitely going to be important later on. <clears throat> When it comes to upgrading certain uh, equipment or even uh, upgrading the house. So I'm going to spend the time to do that for now. Tasteless zap. I completely forgotten that, that was a much more tougher a bit of wood. <laughs> Whoops. Oh well. At least... Uh, at least I know that using the axe nearby the slimes is basically killing <laughs> killing two stone uh, killing two birds with one stone as the saying goes. All right, so I'll hold on to those for now. I know that I still got a lot of other supplies that I need to gather, but let's go back to go back into town. And I may also probably take the moment to sort of explore and meet up with other people of the residents. Uh, have you tried the baths at the Willow Waters bathhouse lately? Uh, they have new, uh, they have a new jasmine soap. Ooh. Oh, right. I forgot to feed you, Billy. So let us give you... No, uh, Liam, you... F well, he's happy about it, so I'll, t I'll take it. <laughs> Up the daisy. That's kind of interesting because I thought because of how because that was apple juice that I gave him. That would have been too sweet for him, I reckon. I would have thought at least. Ah well. Anyway, so I do know I need to visit a few more of the houses and visit a few more residents here and there. Because I know I haven't visited or met with all of the individual residents of the town yet. Hopefully, I will do that in due time. And there is even a possibility because I'm just thinking on this now. Because that there is other areas to explore once when we have continued to empty out uh, the landslides to continue moving forward, which that's what I was forgot to check up. Oh, hello. There is. Oh, okay, so this is where we have to go to continue moving on to their stories to increase the friendships Right dear moonberry folk. I baked some cookies and I'm giving them away for free in the town square Please meet me there if you would like to try them All right <clears throat> So what time does that so Tuesday to Sunday 9 to 15 So we're on a sad day Oh, so we can still do it. Okay. Well, let's go meet up with Martha. See what she has to... What she will tell us. Oh, here we go. You want me to try your cookies? Go on. Take as many as you like. Let's have a taste, shall we? Uh-oh. Well, how do they taste? Fantastic. 
They smell wonderful and they're f and the flavor is completely unique. Do you want to take some more with you? Yes, I'll share some with uh, Derek. He'll be thrilled. Uh, I have to get. I have to go. I've got an appointment. Uh, good luck with your cookies. Oh, okay. Jeez, that's rough. Hmm. Hello, Martha. Hi, Liam. I made some cookies this morning. Want to give them a try? Sure. Hmm. Uh-oh. What's the matter? Is there something wrong with you with them? May I try a little bit? You're right. It tastes funny. I think I accidentally added garlic <laughs> instead of ginger. Oh no. That would do it. Silly me. I'm sorry. If I realized earlier, I wouldn't have let you try them. Thank you for being so honest, Liam. Being frank with other people takes a lot of courage. I'll try not to be so <laughs> absent-minded next time. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to help out at least. I'll finish the rest of the cookies at home by myself. Alright, take care. Oh, hello. Wait a minute. Well? If I made another batch of cookies, would you like to try them? Yeah, I could certainly do that. Don't be scared of the next time, okay? <laughs> I promise they'll be better. Knowing more. Quest completed. Alright. Okay, so that makes so total sense. <laughs> You're right there, Billy. What are you doing? So, in order to increase a friendship, you have to do those kind of challenge. Uh, you have to sort of do those kind of event times that you find on the bulletin board. What have you got? Stand out of my way and you'll be fine. Wait, hang on a minute. Jeff, Derek, and Dean. Oh, a new face. I'm Dean, a police officer here in Moonbury. Uh, did you bring any snacks from the capital? Uh, please let me have some. Don't tell my twin by like Derek though. So they are twins. Okay. Uh, hey, uh, what are you looking at? I'm not slacking off. Uh, don't tell Derek, okay? <laughs> don't worry, Dean. You're 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 fine with me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I didn't know that there was actually twins. How about that? So at least we know that he, he likes snacks. <laughs> that's 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 the key thing. Right, let's see what um Let's see what's on the board over here. Uh no quest available. Alright, we're good. Okay. So I think So before I record the next episode next time, I know that I will definitely need to try and sort of uh talk among with the villagers. Have you tried Yawn's root beer? Uh, I highly recommend it. So I wonder if it becomes a lot more. It, it takes a lot longer for the for the relationship bar or the friendship bar to sort of increase over time. Uh, once when you sort of uh, go up further levels, that's uh, one of the things I'm curious about. So my main goal, at least throughout the next few uh, th throughout uh, throughout the next few playthroughs, when I do play this game is to continuously increase the friendship of uh, everyone that I come across and try and save up a lot more of these stones. Oh yeah, I can sort of see the resemblance. You just have one that looks peed off compared to the other. <laughs> Alright, so what I'm going to go do is go back to the forest, grab some more supplies and then move on to the next day. Okay, so we don't have... 
Oh, we interact with it. Okay. So we have a fishing net. So what we need is... We need more coins, which I could certainly gather more of. We just need more wood and more stone, which I reckon will take a couple of days to get the right amount of wood and stone. And I think what I will do in terms of coins is to do a lot of the... Is to do a lot of the part-time jobs, I reckon. Because I'll definitely get a good amount of coins from doing part-time jobs. Which will take me a couple of hours in game time. But, at least I know how to progress to the next area. That's the important thing. Okay, so I need 225 wood. So I've got 142 now. So, so I need at least 83, I think I'm, I think that's right, 83, and stone, I have 111, so I need 64, what's the matter, Billy? Oh, you can task him to find an NPC, okay. Well, I'll use the last bit of... You don't really get much stone, I realised. Max amount, a bit, max amount, I think, I reckon you gathered is about... Ooh, I would say four? Four or five? But usually, uh, usually, uh, as far as I've seen, you usually get about three. But, hey, what more can you do? Okay, so we don't have anyone in the clinic again, which is good. Which means it will allow us to take the time to gather more materials. Gather some more wood. Gather some more stone. So yeah, three there. So you get about four wood. It's really hard to determine like what... So three there. So I think three is actually the max of... Oh, then the amount of little rocks that you get from a rock pile. Whoops. And I think it's the same with wood, actually, now now just thinking on it. Wow, that means that you would have to spend, like... Oh, it will depend, actually. Because you got four out of that, so it's either three or four. Probably will be the same with stone. So I reckon that would usually take about, I reckon... Ooh. Like, you would definitely have to take a certain amount of days just to, like, get the right amount of wood. I think stone is it's perfectly fine, if I'm honest. Definitely getting a good amount of iron ore. Alright. So, I've almost depleted my energy, but I do have a little bit enough, but I'll stop my supply gathering here. So, I think what I will do next is I'll visit a part-time shop. I'm going the wrong way. Um, I'm not sure if, depending which job I do in terms of part-time job, I'm not sure what gives me the highest amount of coins, but I think that doesn't necessarily matter as long as I... As long as I do a decent amount of jobs, because they do take about two hours in-game time to do. So, I reckon I'll do a part-time job here at the police station. When I uh, did save last time, I forgot that I, um, so 125 is what I got from that. 
and then I will do a no part-time job. Oh, maybe I can only do it once per day in terms of part-time job. Okay, that makes sense. I also need to spend the time to speak with the residents. Hey, buddy. Uh, do you need something? Well, I will give you this. Well, thanks. Okay, so he's now at max. I just need to wait until next time. Hey, Zeke. Have you met Kips, my cat? Oh, he's yours. Or she? What was the gender of the cat? I've forgotten. Okay. Alright, so now I need to keep an eye out on his, <laughs> his uh, requests board when that time comes. The door is locked because everyone's closing up shop for tonight. He's asleep. Uh, do you have any interesting books, Liam? No? Ah, well. I wish I had a library on this island. And I, a library would be cool, actually. It would be nice to have a library. Hello! If anything terrible happens to Rue, I'll never forget, forgive, forgive myself. Well, don't worry, Maya. You have got me on board. I really appreciate your gift, Liam. Maybe by giving those... It may not give as much friendship, uh, may not give as much friendship bar, uh, I'm just going to call it friendship bar for the sake of it, but it doesn't give that much friendship bar as their level continues or increases. I could be 100% wrong with that, I do not know, uh, but, we'll lie down and we'll go to sleep. Oh, and we have someone in our clinic, who have we got today? Oh, it's Helen. Helena, excuse me. Oh, Helen. Maybe it's Helena. I don't remember. My right palm feels weird. My right thigh feels weird. Okay, so palm and thigh. Diagnose. All right, here we go. Oh, we got the bar to <laughs> pass the point we need. All right, so what? Do you need uh, so brune? So we need a rune cleanser. Diagnose. All right, and you need itchiness. So you need a neutralizing healing blam or balm. I keep calling. I'm, I'm going to keep calling it blam for out of out of <laughs> just out of instinct, but it's pronounced balm. But that's okay. We could certainly do that, but at least we now have a recipe that could give us... Ah, okay, so we don't have to worry about doing the puzzle. If we have gotten and done the... We need to be closer. So, because that we haven't gotten uh, the recipe for these yet, because we need to craft three for more time. So then we can just do it instantly. It will just take the amount of items that we need. Alright. That is very cool though. I like that. I'll probably spend most of the time still like doing a lot of puzzles. Because that way it will give me an opportunity to have more recipes. And if I don't have the right amount of uh, items for one recipe, then I could just use another re recipe to... Uh, and use the items in that other recipe to finish it off. A one. And a two! Treatment completed. There you go! Really good satisfaction. My, my, you are skilled, you're a skilled chemist, aren't you? I feel so much better now. Trust up, moon clothes, and some coins. So we definitely have enough coins now, I think, for the... So we definitely have enough coins to help clear the blockage up. We just need to now work on wood and stone. So I'm going to take a moment to do that. 
I've been thinking, I've been actually thinking, because it's funny to me that, and this is, it not just goes to Potion Permit, there's a few other games that are, that does this as well, but whenever you visit a certain location to grab wood or stone supplies, especially in this case with Potion Permit, the idea that once when you cut the trees down or break the stone blocks to grab whatever supplies that you need or have, then the next day they're just instantly regrown. What I understand though is that it may also be due to the soil that Moonbury has, because apparently, I think if I remember correctly, the previous researchers from the from the capital or whoever was sent here previously before our character came along, they were researching the soil of Moonbury because they had they had a lot more different properties compared to, uh, say, normal soil. So, <laughs> so the soil. So I'm thinking the soil here has some unique properties that allows us, or allows a lot of. Allows a lot of the trees or a lot of the, uh, a lot of the rocks to regrow. Which, <laughs> well, so that would make things a lot more interesting, a lot more, like, easy in terms of having endless supplies of, like, you know, logs for construction. Um, you know, we would have endless supply of paper. So those little things are just, like, it's interesting if that was, like, if that was like part of uh, part of our part of the real world sort of scenario okay so we have enough rocks now i think let's do a double check all right so we have enough stone we just need to work on the trees which i have a feeling we could probably end up actually getting the right amount of wood in this day, I think. Alright. Oh, I think that's the right amount of wood we need. I think that's it. The exact amount. Or, uh, what's the another term that I've heard in a few videos before? Exact change. Yeah, we are at the exact amount. That's it. Here we go. Okay, now let's tidy this thing up. Well, clear all this. We'll clear all this away with the materials you provided. And voila! The path has been cleared now. Now you can go explore even more of the area. Uh, you might come face to face with something you've never seen before up up ahead. I recommend you check your tools before exploring the area. And don't forget to check the uh, community board as there will be new requests posted. I can certainly do that. Alright, unlocking areas. You can travel and explore new areas once you've fixed an obstacle around the fields. Uh, in the new regions you'll find more resources, more wild animals and more challenges. Uh, each time a new area is unlocked, new requests will be registered on the community board. Uh, task, uh, task objective will, the task objectives will vary depending on the area you just unlocked. So now, and yeah, look, the clouds moved away. Okay, so the next blockage is up that way, and it seems like it leads into a snowy area. A snow area, and by the looks of it, a railing? Oh no, that was, that's probably meant to be a bridge. Ah, okay, so, oh, there's even this area down here. Oh, hang on. Ooh, even a desert biome. Whoa. Oh, I am really looking forward to exploring those areas. <laughs> but I think it is fair to take in Forrest's word of uh, wisdom. Um, I think it is a good idea for me to take the time, at least off recording, to continue gathering as much uh, resources and materials I need to upgrade my gear before moving into the next area. 
I probably actually should have done that before <laughs> before going into the next area, but that's alright. Uh, so let's see. I need to go visit Opal Heart and Rune Heart. Because I want to figure out how much materials and how much coins I need to upgrade my gear. What are you doing, Russo? What you doing? Want to play? Hey, a chemist. Well, you're lame. What even is a chemist? Oh, <laughs> uh, well, a, good kid, a cool kid's got to be a cool kid once in a while. Vulcan Bill. Oh, oh I haven't been here yet. Hi there, how can I help you? Uh, getting bored of that old potion house already, huh? <laughs> well, I'm sure I can help make it more uh, comfortable for you. It'll be nice to fix that old place up. I'll just need uh, the lumber uh, and my payment. Uh, that won't be a problem, right? No, it will not be a problem. Okay, I completely forgot to visit this place. Okay. So, kitchen renovation. Civ uh, clinic renovation. Uh, renovate the clinic to unlock uh, more uh, serum recipes and increase your income. Ah. Okay, chick log table. Okay, so we can buy a lot of furniture here. But as we see, it does. It is going to take a lot of materials, uh, a lot of, <laughs> a lot of materials to um, uh, to conjure. But I'm thinking, I'm I'm not a hundred percent certain on this. But I'm thinking that would our gear. Okay, so yeah, I will need to take the time to work on this in my own recording. Hey, Opal Heart, how are you? Uh, a tool is only useful in the hands of someone who needs it. Good advice. Get out of the way. So, what I'm gonna, so what I will do in the before I record the next episode is I will take the time to record uh, new. Uh, no, sorry, not record, but take the time to basically work on uh, getting the materials I need, uh, rank up and level up my gear. And then hopefully in the next episode, uh, I have ranked up the last friendship I need uh, for that particular bit. So who have we got? Uh, Yawn Story 1. Uh, urgent. The post office by the town hall is overflowing with packages. I need a volunteer to help me out with my deliveries as soon as possible. Uh, Monday to Friday. What time is it? Oh, I'm just going to miss it, I think. Yeah, I'm going to miss it. Yeah, I'm going to miss it, I think. Yeah, just missed it. <laughs> oh, well. All right, so we'll do that in the next day. But at least I am learning how the how story uh, progresses, especially for individual characters. By increasing them to the max level, I won't be able to level them up completely until I do their story task, whenever that is, or whoever that is. So it's good to know that. Like it's good to learn about that sort of stuff. Okay, so we have no one in the clinic, which is good. Alright, so it's eight o'clock now. So it's probably sunny daytime. Town hall. I'm glad you're here, Liam. I completely forgotten what voice I did this guy. <laughs> I really need your help right now. Uh, can you deliver these uh, packages to the Lazy Bowl, uh, to the Lazy Bowl Tavern? I've got another errand uh, to run. I can certainly do that. I, I'm counting on you. He's definitely in a rush, isn't he? Huh? Okay. Ah, oh, too. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope you're having a wonderful day too, Martha. But I need to take this to Yawn at the tavern. Oh, look! 
it even has a a um a little icon on its own. Ah, that's cool. I probably might not have paid attention to, to that. Alright, so I need to wait until 10 uh, to deliver the package. Yeah. Are you enjoying yourself here? Uh, don't forget your manners. This isn't the capital. Yeah, you did mention that, actually. Hello, Dean. Uh, uh, hey, uh, what are you looking at? I'm not slack enough. <laughs> don't tell Derek, okay? <laughs> So I think a lot of the dialogue, depending on the level, I might have briefly talked about this before, but I reckon the dialogue would remain as the same uh, I, uh, for numerous levels. I could be wrong on that. Alright, it is 10 o'clock. Oh, we have the police uh, twins here. Uh, he was around a, a couple of minutes ago, uh, but I'm not sure where he is now. What have you got there? A package for him? Isn't Dev supposed to deliver packages? Couldn't it be something? Uh, it could be something illegal. That is certainly possible. I've heard some nasty rumors about him. Some people say he's an uh, ex-gangster or something. Uh, he got that tattoo of of his. He got that tattoo of his in prison before he escaped and came to Moonbury. Oh, he's talking about yawn. Okay. Don't you need another drink? <laughs> um, we have some errands to do. Let's go, Dean. <laughs> Uh, that banjo. Shouldn't Dev be the one delivering this uh, package? Oh. Oh? Hmm. I can't remember if I ordered this. Hmm. Never mind. Hmm. Thanks for your help, Liam. Right, I didn't expect- Oh, I got some premium root beer. Alright, that's his level up. I was not expecting that. Okay, so obviously there are the- Oh, actually, wait a minute, hang on. Because she's gotten a lot of- Ava here opens gives everyone higher friendship. Yeah, that's right, I forgot about that. She loves to cook and cookies are one of her signature dishes. Right, I forgot about that. Uh, where is he? Yawn, where are you? There you are. Uh, Yawn is the owner of it. Uh, his intimidating appearance tends to make people feel uneasy in his presence. There are many rumors about his past, but no one dares ask him uh, for the truth about it. Uh, when the mysterious package from uh, the capital arrives addressed to Yawn, some people in town are worried that packages might contain something dangerous. But when it's opened, the package contains a banjo instead. Your lender reveals uh, his passion for music. Turns out he's not as scary as people think. Yes, right. So I, I completely forgotten that you could actually, as you increase the level, um, you'll sort of learn more about the residents and their history and their backstory and sort of learn about, you know, what their interest is. Like, of course, with Martha, her enjoyment for making cookies. But of course, with Yawn, the fact that he's a musician because he ordered a banjo. And I never even... even... <laughs> even thought, because I, I probably didn't read the... Um, uh, the text behind it, or at least read the... The, uh, the backstory, but I never really considered... Or thought that, you know... He was an ex-criminal. You know, and he... Whether if he did escape from prison to then end up in Moonbury. I mean, like, who knows what that is, but... So... I still have one more friend I need, I, need, I still need to befriend one more villager, which I'll do that in my own time, but I will also take the time off recording to gather as much materials as I need to then of course upgrade all the equipment that I have so that once when I go into the next area, then I'll be able to do and 
<laughs> grab all the materials I need. I also need to figure out um, what other materials after iron to then, of course, increase to the next rank in terms of upgrading tools and whatnot. But I'll get around to that in my own time. But until then, thank you very much, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, then click the like button. Click the subscribe button for more videos heading away. This has been Let's Play Potion Permits. I'm Lee from Lee's Australia. Until next time, lay them out.